review more drama to a race in town and Part of it here, and I know Johnny Sauter wants to celebrate, but he needs to hold off on that for a couple of moments here just to make sure. Here again, NASCAR in the review process for what we saw coming through the trial here as the checkered flag was being shown. They're taking a look to see if he forced Riley Erbst in the 51 truck below the yellow line. And if they prove and if they state that he did, then that could mean that he is not. Finish here at the Talladega Super Speedway. We will wait there early to find out if indeed Johnny Sauter is the race winner this afternoon. NASCAR again currently reviewing that to see if he forced him below the yellow line. Okay, so we're waiting to see how that goes right now, and uh, we hope to get that ruling here in just a couple of moments here. So celebrations right now are a little bit on hold because we are waiting on NASCAR's review. <laughs> to the end of the Sugarland Shine 250. And Johnny Sauter will not win. Spencer Boyd has won at Talladega. Johnny Sauter went below the yellow line to block coming to the checkered flag. And it will be Spencer Boyd who will get career win number one in the NASCAR Gander Outdoors Truck Series. Wow, what an upset to what we have going on Spencer Boyd will be your winner. Todd Gilliland will finish in second. Riley Herbst comes home third with Brett Moffitt and Stuart Friesen fourth and fifth. Spencer Boyd sitting in his truck right now, backing up. He was all ready to take place and perhaps maybe have a top five finisher interview, but instead that truck is being pushed to Gatorade Victory Lane. Spencer Boyd has won a tax thing. A driver who is really not part of the equation for most of the afternoon spent a lot of time outside the top ten, did well in stage two, and he, I mentioned him at the top of the broadcast as perhaps a possible sport as a driver of not